Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers at Arnold Kappel 6933. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, why is yawning contagious? It sounds like one of those everyday questions we joke about until it suddenly happens to you. You're not tired, you're not bored, you're doing just fine. Then someone nearby yawns. And just like that, your mouth opens, your jaw stretches, your eyes water, and you're yawning too. What's strange is that you don't even need to see it. Hearing a yawn can do it. Reading about yawning can do it. Sometimes just thinking about yawning is enough to set it off. Yawning is one of the most common human behaviors on the planet. Yet it's also one of the most mysterious. Babies yawn before they're born. So today, we're breaking down the science, psychology, and social meaning behind this oddly powerful reflex. Why yawning spreads, what it reveals about your brain, and what it quietly says about human connection, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, a yawn is a deep, involuntary breath where your mouth opens wide, your jaw stretches, and your lungs draw in a large volume of air. It only lasts a few seconds, but it activates a surprising number of muscles in your face, neck, chest, and even your eyes. For decades, scientists believed yawning was caused by a lack of oxygen. The logic was simple. Low oxygen equals yawn. But experiments proved that idea wrong. Increasing oxygen levels doesn't reduce yawning, and holding your breath doesn't reliably cause it. So yawning isn't about oxygen at all. Instead, the leading explanation today is brain temperature regulation. Your brain works best within a narrow temperature range. When it starts to heat up, due to fatigue, boredom, stress, or long periods of focus, a yawn helps cool it down. The deep inhalation draws in cooler air, while the jaw movement increases blood flow, helping regulate temperature and restore alertness. Yawning, in other words, is your brain's maintenance tool, but that still leaves one big mystery. If yawning were purely about brain temperature, it wouldn't spread from person to person. Yet it does. Seeing someone yawn dramatically increases your chances of yawning yourself. Watching a video of someone yawning can trigger it. Even reading the word yawn can be enough. This phenomenon is called contagious yawning, and it doesn't affect everyone equally. Children under the age of four rarely catch yawns. Some adults almost never do and you're far more likely to yawn after seeing someone you know than a complete stranger. That pattern tells us something important. Contagious yawning isn't just physical, it's social. One of the strongest explanations for contagious yawning involves mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are brain cells that activate when you perform an action and when you see someone else perform that same action. When you watch someone smile, parts of your brain activate as if you were smiling. When you see someone get hurt, you may flinch, even though nothing happened to you. Yawning works the same way. When you see someone yawn, your mirror neurons recreate that experience internally. For some people, that internal simulation crosses a threshold and triggers a real yawn. Your brain doesn't just observe the yawn, it rehearses it. Here's where contagious yawning becomes more than a reflex. Research shows that yawning spreads more easily between people who share emotional bonds. You're more likely to catch a yawn from a close friend a family member, a romantic partner, and less likely to catch one from a stranger, someone you feel disconnected from, someone you actively dislike. This suggests that contagious yawning is linked to empathy, 
the ability to emotionally resonate with others. Your brain is constantly syncing with people around you, tracking their expressions, emotions, and internal states. Yawning may be one of the simplest ways that synchronization happens. In a subtle way, catching someone's yawn may be your brain saying, I'm tuned into you. Does yawning spread between species? Surprisingly, yes. Dogs frequently yawn after seeing their owners yawn. This effect is much weaker when the yawn comes from a stranger, suggesting emotional attachment plays a role. Chimpanzees yawn in response to other chimpanzees. Wolves do it too. Even some birds show group yawning patterns. This points to an evolutionary purpose. In social animals, synchronization matters. If one member becomes tired or less alert, spreading that signal through yawning may help the group slow down, rest, or stay together. Yawning may be a quiet form of communication, one that doesn't require sound, language, or conscious thought. At this point, there's a good chance you've already felt the urge. That's because your brain doesn't fully distinguish between imagining an action and observing it. When you vividly think about yawning, you activate many of the same neural pathways involved in actually doing it. For some people, that mental rehearsal is enough to trigger the physical response. It's the same reason imagining sour food can make your mouth water. Your brain practices experiences constantly and sometimes the practice becomes real. Yawning may seem trivial, even awkward, but contagious yawning reveals something deeply human. It shows that our brains are wired for social connection. We unconsciously mirror those around us and empathy operates below awareness. You don't choose to catch a yawn, your brain makes that choice for you. In a small, quiet way, every contagious yawn is evidence that humans are built to sync, to share internal states, even without words. So the next time someone yawns near you and you feel it coming on, remember, it's not just fatigue. It's your brain reaching outward, silently mirroring the people around you. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.